Hey guys, I'm here to do one of these uh, Who Said It games. Who done said it? And um, it's got, it's got like, it's like eight quotes. Could be less, depending on if I say something wrong, they'll cut. If there's any good that comes out of being at the brink of war, it's being able to stand here in front of you. Jonathan? That was either Magnus or Alex. Is that Alec who says that? Clary? I'm gonna shoot in the dark here and say Jace. If there's any good that comes out of being at the brink of war, it's being able to stand here in front of you. Raphael! That, oh, that is Raphael. I remember that now. Raphael said that. Uh, okay. Raphael? Who's he talking to? Raphael? I love Raphael. He's the best. What? No woman should ever kneel to a man. Okay, it's gotta be a uh, big bad lady. Uh, Lilith. I think that's Lilith. So some, like, uh, boss bitch lady said that. <laughs> I know this one because it's my mother. Is it? Is it? Is it Lilith? It's Lilith. Yes. That no woman should ever kneel to a man. Lilith. Lilith. Is that Lilith? Yes, let's go. That is Lilith, Queen of Hell, played by the wonderful Anna Hopkins. It would be like Beyonce riding on a dinosaur in the middle of Times Square, people would notice. That would be MB, Magnus Bane. Pretty sure that's Magnus? Magnus? Yes. My head just, my head just read this as Matt Daddario would read it, and I'm like, well, it's not him. <laughs> it's gotta be Simon. It'd be like Beyonce riding on a dinosaur through Times Square. People would notice. Harry had a great take with the Beyonce one where he actually did like single ladies. <laughs> like, it was awesome. You could have anything else in the world and you chose me. I said that. I'm gonna say Alex said it. This is definitely Jay saying this to Clary after she chose him when she literally could have wished for anything. She could have wished for the power to bring people back from the dead. Way smarter than just Jay's. <laughs> you could have had anything else in the world and you chose me. Who's, who can have anything else in the world? That's ridiculous. This, that's not true. This, no one can have anything else in the world. Otherwise, they wouldn't be doing, th they would be a god. And the only one who's a god is Magnus, the closest one. So Alec would be the only one who could say that. So the line should be changed. Edit the, edit the, edit the, the show. Impossible just means try again. Was it Alec? That's Alec. Well, that's a nice thing to say to a person. Um, tragically, I don't recall who said it. <laughs> I'm so bad at these. Impossible just means try again. I know who said that. His name was Alec and he's a good guy. Is that correct? Yes. Good, thank God. Impossible just means try again. I just assume that pretty much everyone has slept with Jace at this point. It's only a matter of time before I sleep with him myself. That one's Simon. <laughs> I was thinking about all the girls that are going through my head and that, yes, that would be something Simon would say. It seems like Simon's sense of humor. <laughs> uh -huh. Huh. Simon. You, you dog, Simon. I just assume that pretty much everyone has slept with Jace at this point. It's only a matter of time before I sleep with him myself. <laughs> that was Simon, and it's one of my favorite lines in the show. I just assume that pretty much everyone has slept with Jace at this point. It's only a matter of time before I sleep with him myself, I guess. Demons dig blondes, Izzy said that, episode one. Remember that. Jace said this to Izzy when she picked the platinum wig. I remember this one. I'm right, right? Izzy said it. Oh, right, of course, when she had the blonde wig. And it wasn't blonde, it was more like white, but I get it. Like, <laughs> Who's the only blonde? Is it Jace? He is the only blonde, right? He is the only blonde. Yeah, it has to be him. Demons dig blondes. <laughs> what? I think it's Isabel. Yes, it is. In the pilot. Whoo, that was a long time ago. Alone was strong, together. We're unstoppable. Is that Clary? That is Clary. Clary. Alone were strong. Together we are unstoppable. Hmm. History would prove otherwise to whoever said this. And I'm gonna go with. I don't know. Izzy. Clary said it. Alone, we're strong. Together, we are unstoppable. So again, I was eight for eight, and that's great. Uh, um, I'm nailing these games. And uh, I was keeping you guys on the toes with the fake answers. Thank you so much for letting me play this wonderful game of Who Done Said It.